This video is about opposing forces, duality, reflections, inversions, things of this nature. And oftentimes, throughout this video, I'll be displaying some images that suggest these themes. For instance, at the top of the screen right now, you see analog clocks. Well, if you look at advertisements for analog clocks, or you go to the store at the clock aisle, a lot of times the analog clocks are set to the same time. The hands are pointed at 10 and 2. 10 is kind of like the opposite position of the 2. 10 p.m., if you think about it this way, 10 p.m. is 22 hours into the day. And we're going to relate this to numbers of America. Well, George Washington's birthday is often celebrate on 222. We're going to talk about the letter V, which is the 22nd letter of the English alphabet. And the English letter V is basically an inverted Greek lambda. I'm showing a lambda off to the left, and it's not just because lambda is helping me out with this. This ties in with related videos about the magic square based around the number 176. Now, real quick, 176, in a way, can connect with the 10 and 2. If you push the 10 and 2 together, you get 102. 17 times 6 is 102. Donald Trump was asked that question on Howard Stern. I just found this out. I did my video connecting the 176 magic square to Donald Trump. And I'll leave links in the description box. But I did some searching and found that Howard Stern asked his family this question. What's 17 times 6? What a random question. Right. Well, anyways, connecting this to the magic square, and if you didn't see that video, I'll just go over it real quick. There's a magic square where all the rows, columns, and diagonals sum to 176. So at the top row, 25 plus 18 plus 51 plus 82, you get 176. You get the same thing. Pick any row, any column, any diagonal. You get the same number, 176. But what's special about this particular magic square is that if you flip it upside down, if you just you see how the numbers are written like this with the block like numbers flip it upside down see 82 upside down will be a, obviously a 28 you'd still get the same result if you view this in a mirror the magic square in a mirror you can still get the same result all the columns diagonals rows 176 we can connect this with the year of foundation for the United States of America, 1776. We'll get to that in a little bit. But keep in mind, these are numbers that can be flipped or viewed in a mirror. So I'm talking about the magic square based around 176. And I was typing these opposing words like life and death. Feasting and fasting, the first and last, rich and poor, give and get, life and death, left and right, fire and water. I think I said life and death, I'm not sure if that's in there, but notice this list here. Now, I'm assuming you know about Gematria and the different ciphers. I'm not going to stop to explain which cipher or when I used a capital letter or not. And if you're one of those people that nitpicks and says, why'd you capitalize the first letter of life and the first letter of death? Whatever. I think it's legit, and you know what? If you skip this video, you're missing out. It's another few examples. Someone might call this a stretch, but if you put the words together, these opposing words like black and white, you get 176. Now, I, you don't use the word and. I put a ampersand we could put a plus sign we don't have to put anything just black white 176 jesus lucifer 176 but if we include the word and give and get 176 women and men 176 i included a couple of 1076s north south 1076 right and wrong 1076
the Zvina 1760 in the mix here. Using the prime cipher, the magic square sums to 176 equals 1760. Drop to zero, we get 176. Shout out to Sirach for that find. Lambda did some stuff on this. I'll leave a link for his video. But he showed in his video the uh, 10 different ways you can get 176. The columns, rows, a couple of diagonals there. 176. So times the 10 variations plus the 16 cells or the, the, uh, the number boxes. So we got 176 times the 10 plus 16. We get 1776. You guys got to see Lambda's video about a location called American Square. It's amazing. Well, anyway, 1776 is the year that we're told that the United States was founded or you know, Declaration of Independence and all this. So how this relates, one of the ways that this relates with the magic square is that if we add all of the numbers together, not the digits, but the numbers, 25 plus 18 plus 51 plus 82, so on. Add all the numbers together, we get 704. So that's 704. Well, Independence Day for Americans is 7-4, or you can write that date 7-0-4. But if we use Gematria, there's a cipher, reverse ordinal, and we type in the words that represent the digits of the magic square. So instead of the words 25, 18, 51, 82... You can see at the top of the screen, if you do what I did, with the reverse ordinal cipher, instead of 25, type in 25, T-W-O-F-I-V-E, and so on. Type out all the words that represent these digits, and the sum is 1776. Using the Jewish Gematria cipher, Bizarro World equals 1776. You might have heard of this. DC Comics, now you might know that as Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, all this, Justice League. DC stands for Detective Comics, but it might make you think, in this case, of DC as in the nation's capital, District of Columbia. Anyways, anyways, I'm going off topic here. I found something about Bizarro World. It says here, in popular culture... Bizarro world has come to mean a situation or setting which is weirdly inverted or opposite to expectations. Sometimes it seems like that's what we're living in. Bizarro world. But there's plenty of opposition. I mean, just thinking about America, we got the red states, the blue states, Democrats versus the Republicans, North and South. You guys know that song about the American flag, the Star Spangled Banner? Well, if we use the reverse English Sumerian cipher, Star Spangled Banner equals 1776. Of course, that could remind you of United States Foundation. Lambda pointed out that in the reverse extended, founded. The word founded equals 1776. Found this interesting that using the reverse English Sumerian cipher, the words Donald Trump's birthday equals 1776. Seems to be appropriate considering that Donald Trump's birthday is also Flag Day for Americans. Oh, the Star Spangled Banner. Continuing on with the American theme here. So, on the front of the dollar bill, a uh, big shout out to Cliff for pointing this one out. The front of the dollar bill, the one dollar bill, you see 
the words, this note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. Well, if we use all capital letters, and I told you capital letters are important. Capital, the nation's capital. Capital, think about capital and money. Anyway, if we use all capital letters, like it, like it is on the $1 bill, and use a cipher called Francis Bacon Gematria, this note is legal tender for all debts, public and private, equals 1776. A lot of people know that the 1776 is represented on the back of the dollar bill as well. It's kind of hidden. But at the bottom, at the base of the pyramid, you can see Roman numerals. And those Roman numerals represent the date of foundation, or the year, 1776. Anyways, think about this and the Capitol and the Washington Monument. If you do a quick search for Washington Monument, probably what you're going to see is, or if you do a quick search for the height, you'll see 555 feet. It may be a little bit more than that. I didn't measure it. It's the first result that I got, but if you add 555 plus its reflection, because remember, the Washington Monument has the reflecting pool. So if we add 555 plus its reflection plus 666, that equals 1776. A few more 1776 values, positive and negative, 1776. Phallus and the chalice, 1776. I'm not going to go into explaining about that too much, but notice I have 11th Greek letter. Well, that's lambda, and you can see how this relates. A lambda is an inverted letter V. V could be a symbol for female. A lambda could look like the sign for male, and I'm not talking about the Mars and Venus. But this fits. We're talking about inversions, reflections, opposing forces, male, female, all this. And remember the magic square. All the rows, columns, and diagonals sum to 176, but we get the same result by flipping it upside down. I'm not going to put it in a mirror, but I'm hoping that you take my word for it here. But remember I was talking about the lambda and the phallus and the chalice, all this with the 1776. Well, the Washington Monument, a lot of people are on the same page about this. The Washington Monument is a phallic symbol. Remember I said what's 17 times 6? And it's 102, just like the clocks at 10 and 2. Just like when you're driving your left hand at 10, right and 2. Revelation 10, 2 talks about an almighty angel coming down from heaven. He had a little book open in his hand and he set his right foot on the sea and his left foot on land. So we got land, water, so you think of the elements, earth, air, fire, water, left hand, I mean, sorry, left foot, right foot. By the way, using the keypad cipher, United States of America equals 102, which is 17 times 6, feasting and fasting, 176. The first and last, 176. Gullible and skeptical, 176. Jesus and Lucifer. What about the pillars, Joaquin and Boaz, both and neither, left and right, fire and water? Anyway, I'm running out of time, but another thing that equals 176, Super Bowl XLI. Prince was there. Some people can draw some parallels with this upcoming Super Bowl. But if you think about Prince's symbol, called the love symbol number two, when he went by that instead of prince it was the artist formerly known as and the symbol it's an amalgamation of the male and female sign notice all the 666 dirty and clean saved and damned males and females all this all equals 666 well if you go 666 days before prince's death that brings us to the 176th day of the year